Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, I would like to whisper to you a story about my lucid dreaming. So, last night, I had a dream with one of my major lucid dream triggers, which is my late, great service dog, Glacies. And she is gone, and has been gone, since my 33rd birthday this year. And I know in my heart of hearts, deep in my subconscious, I know she is gone from this life. So, when she appears in my dreams, and plays a fundamental role, I then become aware that this is not real that I am in a dream world and I become lucid. Before I go into my dream last night, there was a dream I had before my lucid dream. I don't remember much about it. All that I could recall when I woke up was that I was running up a flight of stairs to the attic and a woman was chasing me and I threw a dagger at her, and it stabbed her like a vampire in the chest. So, in dream worlds, the house is usually a part of the body, and the attic symbolizes the upper mind and subconscious. And stabbing, or basically stabbing a woman, signifies a need and longing for the past, which is makes sense because it was right before the glacy stream. So the longing for the past would have been my dog. Also, it can mean that I need spiritual enrichment and that I will have to stand up and fight against attacks to my reputation. So with that said, I feel that it also symbolizes the fact that I'm being chased by a woman. I feel that represents emotion and maternity. So me being defensive in my subconscious could mean that I am trying to stifle or shudder my sorrow for the loss of my dog Glacies. And so what I love about life after her life is that she is now a trigger in my dreams that makes me become lucid. So what my plan and hope is now, much like last night, where when I realized Glacies was in front of me and I was petting her, that is what made me realize I was in a dream and I was able to look up and look around my surroundings before I woke up. So my next goal is to actually do something besides bedding her, which I did do something. I realized I was dreaming and I forced myself to look around. When I was in my parents' backyard, I saw two dogs down the way and I just looked back down at Clacy's and I bedded her really intentionally with awareness. And I couldn't feel her, or I don't remember feeling her. And I don't really remember sound. I just remember thought and emotion. And I was so grateful in that dream to be lucid. And I remember waking up like halfway, or I'm still a little unconscious, but I am awake. And I remember wanting to call my mother to share the dream. And then I fell back asleep. And I don't really remember dreams after that. And I'm just so grateful 
that I can see places again in my dreams. I wish I could plan them, but they just come as they will. Although before bed last night, I was missing her arms holding Sim Sam. I realized how Sim Sam really took the role of Glacies. And I just miss her so much. Thank you for listening to me. Hail Mary. God bless.